Hi, and welcome to Cat Fasting. So this is a November 2024 update. Uh, according to my Happy Scale app, I have in the previous seven days lost 1.6 pounds. In the past 30 days, 5.4 pounds. And all time, 90.6 pounds. So that's really great. Um, this week I did ADF, so alternate day fasting. I clean fasted and then the next day ate um, without restriction. Um, I averaged probably around 40 hours each fast and still finding it difficult late afternoon. So between say 3 p.m. and 6 p.m., it is always the toughest time. That's usually when I start switching over to fat burning and my body gives me one last push to put food in so it doesn't have to go search and destroy fat cells for food. It's just something I have to get used to and I try to stay as distracted as possible at that time. So I'm on 10 mil milligrams. I've just taken my seventh injection of 10 milligrams yesterday. I did, however, make a very big mistake that I am regretting today. So I ate Saturday as usual. It's an up day without restriction. Sunday, which was yesterday, was supposed to be a fast day and I got bored and I didn't like the thought of being bored on a Sunday. So I decided to eat I had already taken my injection and I thought, I've got hours before this kicks in. I can totally eat today and then I'll fast on Monday and it will be super easy. <laughs> that was really, really dumb. Uh, I started eating and not well, I might add. And I kept eating because once I start eating, I like to keep eating. This is part of my problem. I only ate in about a four and a half to five hour window, but I ate a full day's worth of food in that time. And wow, regret, big, big regret. Uh, food just sat there, didn't digest at all. I took several digestive enzyme capsules, as well as ones that include uh, betaine acid, uh, hoping to melt it at least a little bit. Uh, as the hours ticked on by into the evening, nothing had changed. I did take a probiotic, hoping, hoping that would make some difference. It did not. I uh, ended up staying up far later than I wanted to because it was just stuffed and I can't sleep that way. Uh, I did end up falling asleep with the help of magnesium and around, I don't know what time it was, probably three, four in the morning, I did have to get up and have some, but a teaspoon of baking soda in a glass of water just to calm down my stomach and the acid in there enough for me to be able to get some sleep before the week began. And uh, that that did okay, That it usually works for me. It did reduce the acid enough for me to fall back asleep. Um, when I woke up this morning, uh, plan to fast? Absolutely am fasting. I am violently opposed to eating today, in fact. I feel so nauseated and I just, even coffee, my beloved, beloved coffee. Oh my god, I mean, I just, I used to hope for this, like hope that, um, a certain level of these drugs would make me feel like this and I was all for it oh I just wish I could be slightly nauseated all day so fasting's easy no no nope really 
really don't like it. I prefer uh, dealing with hunger than this because feeling like I want to throw up all day so far has not been pleasant in the slightest. But a yeah, at least silver lining, fasting will be super easy today. So yeah, this is my seventh 10 milligram shot. For me, it usually takes around four of the same dosage before I actually feel any change. So the scariest part is after my eighth, I am going up to 12.5 milligrams. Now, that will be December. And now I have fasted three out of the last four Christmas days. So I'm not a, oh, it's, I'm not gonna be able to eat on Christmas. I'm more upset about the craft fairs and the food samples I'm not gonna be able to really enjoy. I mean, I doubt it. And I know that's part of the point, but it still sucks because mentally I'm not there yet. So in other news, uh, I had been doing a Pilates routine, like a, just a basic floor routine um, on days that I was fasting. And at the end of that routine, which is about 20 minutes, I was doing uh, dead bugs. And they were really hard. And that's to flatten my stomach and increase uh, core strength. Uh, however, just before the weekend, I got back a raging case of sciatica, which means even sitting down or getting into the shower has become excruciating. Uh, I had sciatica, sciatica before back in the day and um, it's hell. It's bad enough that my knee has been screwed up for a decade. I really don't need this as well. And it is unbelievably disappointing that I can be 90 pounds lighter and I'm still dealing with these physical issues and pain with no relief. So thanks to all my GPs who told me I just needed to lose weight in order to fix these problems because at the moment it's bullshit pardon my french um so a little bit of google research and it turns out that the pilates part of the routine which is swinging my leg around in circles uh, which is a big part of the routine and uh, any sort of lifting both legs together at the same time can cause sciatica. And as far as my dead bugs are concerned, it's because as a beginner, I am arching my back too much. I think I'm holding the position too for too long um, with my back arched and both those things can. So I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to, once I get better and I mean absolutely pain-free, I will start doing uh, chair workouts for seniors because that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, I'll have to up my upper body exercises and use heavier weights and hopefully that'll make up a difference. It's, it's really sad because the whole point of being able to do Pilates routine now that I can get up on and off the floor without re-injuring my knee was to strengthen my glutes and my abs enough so that hopefully I could get some relief from my knee pain. So I'm just gonna have to get lighter, I guess. Uh, one thing I've been struggling with this week is comparison. I do watch other creators who are on a similar journey to me and you know, it can be difficult to find people who started at a similar weight to me. Most people I'm following started at where I am now. And, you know, I'm seeing these people just shrink in a very short amount of time. And it's it's been a little depressing. I know, I know logically I shouldn't, comparison is the thief of joy. And I, I guess the worst part is is like I know I knew back in when I started this that this would be years to get to where I need to be to be healthy um and of course any weight loss is going to it's going to take a lot more weight loss for me to be able to notice 
the difference. And of course, someone who starts under 200 pounds is going to be noticeably thinner as they lose smaller amounts of weight. And of course, and, and some of these people have started their journey where there's no shortages. You know, I was stuck doing Ozempic um, at very low dosages for a very long time because of shortages. And because in Canada, the maximum I could get to is one milligram without um, actually being diagnosed with diabetes. And I had to wait for Manjaro to become available in Canada for approval for weight loss and also for those shortages. So, you know, I didn't get to a therapeutic dose until, I mean, for me, I started feeling it at 7.5 and that was um, in May. So I definitely have to get a grip, I guess. And f hopefully from where I am now, I'll see greater and greater differences. Um, but it's, it's still, I, you know, I'm looking forward to actually getting some sort of health benefits from this beyond what I already have. Uh, one other thing I've noticed that other content creators have talked about recently, so I'll jump on board, is weight blindness. And that is something that is true for me and definitely similar uh, reactions where I didn't think I was as big as I was until I saw myself in a photo or a video and was quite shocked and I'm actually having the reverse now where even though I'm not seeing myself as smaller and I think of higher weights as being smaller and my theory is I have identified mentally at a certain weight for so long in my life that I can't get rid of it. So for me, it's the early 220s. I spent a very long time of my adult life at that, around that weight. And so even as I got bigger, I still thought of myself as 220 in my head, picturing myself in my head at that weight. And now the same, now that I'm in the low 180s, I still picture myself as in the 220s. And I don't know why this happens. It's certainly not the speed of weight loss because it has not been quick. Um, and even though I can logically look at a number on the scale or on a tape measure, I can put on clothes that are baggy or new clothes that are smaller, and I can logically accept that these changes are happening, but I still in my head picture myself in the 220s. So I don't know how big of a change needs to happen for me to see a difference. Very interested to see when that happens. I'm definitely following other people to see when it happens for them but maybe it does take years and years and years. Maybe it takes someone who sees me often or to actually make a comment. Because of course, nowadays, people are very hesitant to discuss weight, which is a good thing moving forward. People shouldn't have their weight and their sizes commented on even in a complimentary fashion. Um, we'll see, I'm very interested to see where that goes. Uh, so as far as my upcoming plan, I don't even know. I was loving ADF. I don't know why I went off it yesterday. That was stupid. The best thing about alternate daily fasting is even at that hard time of the day of the fast, I would be able to say to myself, I can eat tomorrow. Doesn't matter when, because I wasn't locked into a certain number of hours to fast. I just knew the next day I could eat whenever I wanted to eat and I screwed that up. So dumb. I I feel so bad today. I almost want to go for a 66 hour fast and just not eat tomorrow as well. But I'm going to be open. And if I do want to eat tomorrow, I absolutely will. And I'll just jump right back into the ADF. Um, because I do struggle sometimes with when I want to do a longer fast, it makes me more eager to eat. And I'm 
that I think I am getting towards the weight where I'm going to have to become a little more restrictive on how many treats I allow myself each day or each week. Um, at some point, I am going to have to tweak it a little bit just to keep getting results. But the good news is with the ADF, I am back to getting results. I mean, 1.6 pounds in seven days. I mean, I don't know why that seems pathetic to me because I know it's not. That is absolutely normal. And um, just be nice if it came off my face like this. Why does this, this have to stay? Or my gut? Like, geez, it always has to come off the dumbest places. But I mean, I guess that's my punishment for getting in this condition. Uh, thank you very much for watching, especially if you got to this point. And I will continue to keep everyone updated. Thank you very much. Have a great week.